one of the greatest challenges on this planet right now is the fact that as a, as a collective, we've forgotten who we are. We identify with stuff like our race, our religion, our nationality, our career, our gender. So we say stupid stuff like, well, I'm a black male or I'm a Christian or I'm a Catholic or I'm Irish American or I'm a realtor. You know, that, that's how we identify ourselves. If someone asks, who are you? These are the markers that we use to identify who we are. And the fact is not who we are. Let me, let me ask, let me put it to you this way. If I took away your race and so now you are black and I make you not black and it's possible, Michael Jackson did it. Do you cease to exist? No, you still exist. If I took away your gender, the Wachowski sisters or brothers or whoever, the people that made the matrix, at one point they were men, now they're women. They did it. Would you cease to exist? Would they cease? They still exist. So you're not your race. You're not your gender. Let's say you were Christian and you convert to Muslim. Took away your religion. You still exist. Uh, we realized we made a mistake on your birth certificate. You were actually not born in the United States. You were born in Canada. Do you cease to exist? So if you're not your race, you're not your gender, you're not your religion, all of these things that we identify with, we're not. And we use these things to divide us. And that the point is we've forgotten that before we were physical beings where we come into this narrow perspective of being a race, a gender, religion, blah, blah, blah. Before we were physical beings, we were spiritual beings. And the reason why we took on a certain race, a certain agenda, a certain religion is that in spirituality, you're experiencing everything all at once at the same time. So in order to have a different experience, we narrow our focus. And I would say, okay, I want to come to earth and I want to have this particular experience. What would be the best costume for me to wear to have this particular experience? And the best costume for the experience that I'm choosing to have and the lessons that I need to learn will be, okay, Kirk, you know what? Let's do 21st century America. I'm black male. Yeah, that will work um, because you want to learn about racism and forgiveness and injustice and all this other stuff that you've never experienced before. So yeah, black male, 21st century America. Um, what else? Religion, now nah, let, let, let's skip the religion part. You just have a very normal experience and you want to have something abnormal. You want, you want to be able to think outside the box. So yeah, let's, let's throw a lot of the stuff that used to program you outside the box. So yeah, we're not going to do any religion this trip and probably won't even do the career thing, climbing the corporate ladder. Yeah, let's not even do that because again, that's too structured. And the experience that you want to have is to be able to look at things from a lot of different point of views. And once you get into these structures, you're not even educated, you're indoctrinated. So Kirk, let's skip the indoctrination part and do this other stuff. So all I did was put on a certain costume that would help me have the experience that I want to have to learn the things that I want to learn and experience the things that I want to experience. So coming to earth is pretty much like going to a costume party for Halloween. And there's one person who's going to dress up as the wicked witch and the reason why this particular person dressed up as the Wicked Witch is because she wants to get the feedback and people go, oh, you look so scary. But someone else is going to dress up as Cinderella or the princess because they don't want that feedback of, oh, you look so scary. They want an absolutely different experience. So they put on a different costume. And when they get home, they take off the costume and they're not tied to the identity of the costume. But we come here to earth and all of a sudden we're tied to that. Not all of a sudden, because we're programmed to do this. We're programmed to forfeit our spirituality and run with the physicality. We're programmed to believe that our value lies in the accumulation of material things. Um, I've seen people who went to school, get a piece of paper and did some stuff in their career. And they think they're better than someone who didn't take that route. Um, I've seen religious arrogance. Someone, uh, if you're not believing what they're believing, then they ostracize you and kick you out of the group. So my point with this video is, do you really know who you are? Do you have any idea who you are? Because if you did, you would not buy into the markers that you used to identify yourself. If you did, you would not buy into these mundane ideas that enslave us. I mean, one of the dumbest ideas that we have on the planet is patriotism. Seriously, I said it. Patriotism is a stupid idea. 
oh, I, I, I am rejoicing because I was born in this part of the world and I'm better than other people and don't come over to my side of the land. And it, it's a stupid idea. You know, I understand having national pride where like I'm from Jamaica and when Hussein Bolt run the track, oh, I'm proud of Hussein Bolt, but I don't think I'm better or Jamaica means something more because I'm from Jamaica. But a lot of people here, especially in the United States, they, they bought into that foolishness. And I'm American. This is America. This is a land of opportunity and we're the greatest split. It's not. And the only reason an American would say something like that is because they've never traveled. The minute you start traveling outside the United States, you realize that maybe we are the shithole country. <laughs> yeah, but most people don't, don't get that. So anyway, I don't want to make this too long. The whole point is... Take some time to examine your belief system and why do you believe the things you believe in? Are you really these things that you're identifying with? If someone were to take those markers away from you, would you still exist? And if the answer is yes, then the things that you're saying you are, you're absolutely not. Those are just costumes that you put on to have a certain experience. So if what you're seeing in the mirror is a costume, well, who are you? Who are you really? And when you discover who you are, hopefully you'll start behaving like the true divine being that you are and stop falling for, as Eddie Murphy said in uh, Beverly Hills Cop, stop falling for the banana in the tailpipe. You're programmed to dislike people who are different from you, who look different from you, who believe something different from you, who, who behave in a manner that's different from the way you behave, who's schooled different. You're programmed to to be a part of the, the problem, to divide and conquer. And even though you're not doing the conquering, you're doing the dividing, which allow others who are wiser in their wickedness, you're allowing them rather to do the conquering because you partake in the division. Think about that for a minute, I'm out.